Hello there, Dr. Z here, and I would like to show you about how you can use the uh, Google's voice typing to take notes while watching a video. In this case, what I have is I have my whole set of notes here set up in Google Docs. I'm watching something about gamification for learning. And then I'm going to be watching this Maybe video. An example of a game using games is the... I'm going to be watching this video. And then as I do so, I'm going to be putting my notes in by speaking into it rather than having to type it. Sometimes this is faster, sometimes it's not as fast. It all depends. Uh, make your own choice. Well, let's get started. I'm going to get started by going up here to Tools. And in Tools, I'm going to, type, I'm going to click on Voice Typing. You can also use Control-S, Shift. I'm doing this on a Windows machine. Okay, right here it says that I click to speak. And so if I were down here and I said, click to speak, this is an example of the notes that I'm taking. So I can actually say things into it and it will take those notes. Um, I can leave it on, at least I have found on this system that I can leave it on all the time and it doesn't capture the voice that's coming from the video. In some cases it might. So you'll want to play with that and see how to do that. <clears throat> so let's get started. We'll listen to this and see what's important to, to, to uh, take notes about. A common and popular format for many games is the element of mystery. In this format, the player must discover the clues to solve a mystery or must explore a strange place to find items they need for success. The player needs to discover clues and uh, to solve a mystery, or they need to go to a strange place to find items they need for success. An example of a game using mystery is the board game Clue. In the game, the player must solve the mystery of a murder. The player goes from room to room on the game board, collecting evidence to make the final proclamation of who actually committed the murder. The entire premise of the game is to solve the mystery. An electronic version of solving a mystery is evident in the game L.A. Noir. The video game. Examples of this would be Clue, and a digital example would be L.A. Noir. Look at that, it even spelled it right. It was set in Los Angeles in 1947. In the game, the player must solve a number of cases by scanning crime scenes for clues, following up on leads, and even interrogating suspects. The more the case is solved, the more the video game content is revealed. A discovery game is similar to a mystery game format. Using the same... Now, um... One of the things at the end is that they always have the uh, a summary. And so what I'll do at the very end, I'm, I'm jumping ahead for this just for the sake of this um, video. But at this point, what I will do is I'll go into the numbers system. Too long or too short a time between. I will simply read this in. When using a mystery and discovery approach, use questions to drive the learner. Make it clear that the answers are there. Space out clues and information. Too long or too short a time between discovering clues can be boring or non-productive. So, that's the process. The process is using, no, notice I, I started speaking and it, it recorded that. But that's the process. You wanna make sure you turn this on and off as you need it. And then when you don't even want it there, hit X. I hope that this has been useful. Please contact me if you have any um, questions. Um, this is Dr. Z signing off.